So you clicked on this video because you want to learn a little bit about ladder safety and the best way to climb up on top of your roof. Let's get started. This might be one of the first times you've watched one of our videos here at Digital Roofing Innovations. So I wanna tell you a little bit about myself and our company. My name is Zach Blinkensop. I'm a US military veteran. I was active duty for eight and a half years, and now I'm a licensed general contractor and roofing contractor from over nine states. My company has done projects from Billy up the street all the way through the United States government. So you're in good hands. Okay, this is the ladder that I'm gonna be using to climb up on the roof. So this is a multi-function ladder, or Werner calls it a multi-ladder. If you're a homeowner, this is the go-to ladder for you. Also, if you're a roofing salesman, uh, I think this is the best ladder in the industry. So it folds up, you can use it as a step ladder. You can also extend it all the way out and use an extension ladder, which is what we're gonna do today to climb up on the roof. Never, ever, ever climb on your roof with a step ladder. So please check out our video. We have a different, uh, several different types of ladder types I recommend uh, you looking at. I have it in the description below, but this is the ladder we're gonna to use today. So again, this is a Warner multi-ladder, so you may be wanting to climb up on your ladder with a extension ladder that's totally fine, uh, but whatever you do, then again, use a step ladder. So the way this ladder works is really simple. Uh, I'm gonna go through it real quick, and then I'm gonna show you some of the common errors that people make when climbing up on a ladder. So we wanna keep you safe. Okay, so you might wonder why I decided to put the ladder right here against the rake instead of over on the eave. Well, I like to climb up on the rakes if I can. Uh, on this roof in particular, I know I have roof edge installed, so I don't have to worry about bending the, bending the shingles. Now, you're gonna hear a bunch of different reasons on why you should climb up on a rake and also why you should just go ahead and climb up on the eave of the roof. Uh, a lot of times you're not gonna have to worry about damaging the gutters. But in my opinion, if you can go ahead and climb up where your gutters aren't, particularly if you're not an experienced uh, roofing contractor or you're still new into the sales game, or if you're a homeowner, uh, in my opinion, this would be the best place to climb up. Again, there's a lot of different places you can climb up on the roof. Um, if you come right over here, you can look, this would be a nice easy spot just to put the ladder right up against the gutters and climb up, totally okay. I know these gutters are a little old, so I have I decided to go ahead and just go against the rake. Now, if you don't have drip edge up there, uh, or your uh, shingles are cut a little long, it could damage those shingles. So just be cognizant of that. But the biggest thing is make sure you have a little bit of a lean on your on your ladder, and you're not you don't install your ladder straight up because then it could tip backwards. Obviously, you don't want it too far out here. Uh, because if, especially if it's a very flimsy ladder, it could break on you. So just a nice, you know, 20 to 30 degree angle. Uh, this is probably at a 20 degree right now. will be totally fine, but you always want to climb up on the safest area. So if the safest area for you is by a gutter, for my, in my opinion, the easiest way to get up on the roof is you're going to go ahead and climb up on somewhere that's going to be very easy to access and the closest from the ground to wherever that eave is. So if it's in the summertime, one of the things I definitely recommend you wearing is a pair of gloves. They don't have to be heavy duty work gloves, but any type of gloves that'll protect your hands. Cause a lot of times these shingles can be really, really hot. And when you climb up and put your hand up to touch the shingles to allow yourself to get up on the roof, they can be very, very hot. And the one thing you don't want to do is climb up in the middle of the day, put your hand down, burn your hand and then fall off the roof. So make sure you have a good set of gloves. Now, before you climb up on the roof, keep in mind, if you're going to be up there working, you are going to need a safety harness. If you're just going over there to take a look, it's totally fine. We do inspections all the time without roofs, if you are without uh, harnesses on. If you have any questions about different shoes, we also have a video for roofing shoes and the best ones to do inspections with. But make sure you just 
don't walk up in a pair of flip-flops if you have a very high-pitched fruit. More than most likely, everybody's got a pair of tennis shoes. If you have a really high-pitched fruit, all you may want to do is climb up and take a look from the ladder instead of actually climbing on top of it. And if you're scared whatsoever or you think that you might get injured, please, please, please call a professional and don't do it yourself. Okay, so since I don't have anyone helping me, I'm gonna be climbing up by myself. Everything's clear here. Uh, we have no problems. Another thing you wanna make sure you have at least two feet sticking up here. So on this side, we have about two feet. So you wanna make sure you give extension to the ladder. And so when you step off, you don't kick it off and you're stuck up on the roof and don't have anybody to help you, particularly if you're by yourself. So make sure you have the extension up here. Also it'll help you brace when you step up on the roof. Okay, so you always want to make sure you have at least three points of contact, particularly as you're climbing up. So that means you want at least two feet in one hand or two hands and one foot. So as I climb up, I want to make sure I'm keeping contact with this group or with my ladder at three points at all times. So that means if you do this, you have a chance of leaning. Okay, so hand up, foot up. Okay, so as I'm climbing up on the roof, again, make sure you're comfortable on actually getting on the roof. We don't have any debris, nothing's loose here that's gonna cause us to slip. So we're gonna continue our set up the ladder. And again, stay calm, you're gonna be fine. Just make sure you're maintaining your points of contact, okay? So I'm all the way up on the roof here. So again, I'm maintaining my points of contact. I'm gonna put one foot up on the roof here. I'm gonna push off and we're home. Okay, now we haven't damaged any of the shingles. Everything's good here. Now guys, if you have really uh, a little sli really slick roof after a rainstorm, please do not climb up on your roof. If you have a ton of debris up here, you may pay to go ahead and call a contractor before. This is very dangerous climbing up on your roof, which is why I'm doing this video. So anyway, we've made it up on the roof. Everything's okay. Now when we descend down, we wanna do the same thing. Again, make sure you have your gloves on. So you're going to go ahead, get where you feel comfortable, get on your ring. Now this is the same reason why you want to make sure you have an extension up here so you can have something to climb onto. You can make this higher if you want. All right, so now you got your four points of contact. Maintain your three as you're going down the ladder. And get back to the ground where you're nice and safe. So I hope you enjoyed the video of ladder safety and how to properly climb up on your roof. My girlfriend here, while she looks very beautiful, demonstrating what you don't want to climb up on a roof with. So she has open toed shoes, shorts, a tank top, no gloves. If you're going to climb up on your roof, guys, make sure you have at least tennis shoes on, something that's going to be able to grip your shingles and your metal roof, maybe some pants, and you definitely want to have on a good pair of gloves when you climb up. If you have any questions whatsoever or want further information, please check out our website at digitalroofingcompany.com. It's in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and please give us a subscribe. Remember here at Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe in a modern approach with traditional values. Have a great day.